Whoa, what? Today on Exploring Limitations, we are going to use this reel-to-reel -reel as a preamp for all of the instruments and ask ourselves, can you hear the difference? Here we go. First, what is a preamp? Let's consult Wikipedia. A preamplifier is an electronic amplifier that converts a weak electrical signal into an output signal strong enough to be noise tolerant and strong enough for further processing or for sending to a power amplifier and a loudspeaker. Microphones and guitars both produce very weak signals and it's preamplifiers that turn a signal into something that can be recorded onto tape or digitally in a DAW. In order to use these TIAC preamps properly, I'm going to use the Little Labs Red Eye 3D. It's this little buddy. It's basically a DI, it's also a reamper. I like multifunction boxes when it comes to music gear. Sometimes it's nice, especially if it's a utility piece. But basically, these mic inputs here on the front are expecting a low impedance signal, like a dynamic microphone. Uh, when I plug my bass or my guitar into this box, it will convert the high impedance signal into something that these preamps are expecting. The only other inputs on the reel-to-reel -reel are in the back, and those are RCA line inputs. So those are already expecting a high level line signal. Let's quickly check out the sound of this bass through this TIAC preamp. No other processing involved at all. Now let's mess with the gain a little bit. Now we're getting a little distortion. Crunchy. On a side note, I will probably do a whole other video on things to do with this Little Labs Red Eye Phantom 3D as a DI box and as a reamper. It's pretty badass, but that leads me to the experiment. Oh, I've come up with a little diddly do over here with a drum machine, a bass, a guitar, and a synth. I'm gonna perform to my best abilities the same music onto cassette, once directly into the Tascam via its own preamps, and then using the preamp on this TIAC reel-to-reel. -reel. I'm gonna play this example for you coming up and I'll toggle back and forth, and you have to guess which is which. Which are you hearing? Are you hearing the Porta Studio preamp, or are you hearing the TIAC influenced preamp. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, any guesses? I certainly uh, have my own opinions and they're pretty strong, but you'll hear them later. Letter A was the TIAC preamps. Letter B was the TASCAM preamps. As you can expect and as you can hear, there should be a cumulative effect, not just using one instrument on a preamp, but all of them. And I think it's pretty obvious, but in the interest of science, I'm going to remove the cassette from the equation. Huh? What? Man on tape, man. Duh, what are you doing? To really hear the sound of these preamps, I'm going digital for clarity. I'm gonna record directly into a DAW, Logic, the same music, performed to the best of my abilities. I'll record once with the Tascam preamp, straight into Logic, then with the TIAC preamp, straight into logic, but as a control subject, I'm gonna do a whole piece just going straight into the computer. So now you're gonna have three options. When I toggle these back and forth, will you be able to hear the difference? All right, here we go.
<laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Was this hard? Letter A was the Tascam preamp. Letter B was the TIAC, reel-to-reel preamps. And that means letter C was the digital preamps. There you have it. What are your thoughts? How important are preamps to you? Do you have any favorite unusual preamps? Let me know in the comments below. I've had this reel-to-reel -reel for a while and I've been meaning to plug instruments into it, but I was having impedance issues. You know, I don't have DI boxes laying around, so I kind of forgot about it. And I did recently get this DI box and I was like, oh yeah, and now I can like plug my bass into this TAC. And I don't know, what you guys thought about the experiment, but for me individually, especially on the bass and, and the drum machine, this thing's got some beef to it. You know, these preamps with no EQ or anything, like add, add, have such clarity and like richness. I, I actually was not expecting uh, the difference to be that big. Bass really does benefit from saturation. A lot of times I like to do that up front and the preamp is the thing you, lo you load. That's one of the reasons why people love Neves. The harmonic distortion is pleasant, it's pleasing. Comparatively, the Tascam preamps are... Mm, I don't want to say brittle, but that's the only word that's coming up in my brain right now. I like the Tascam preamps. I think they're cool. I think they sound uh, unique. They've got the sound. They've got the sound of the Porta Studio. But after doing this experiment, man, you bet you're behind. I'm going to be using this bad boy, especially for drum machine and bass. But even on the, you know, the synth and stuff, it just really kind of opened up the sound and gave it some, some life. I, I wasn't definitely wasn't expecting. I don't know if you heard that in the, the differences in the experiment and the comparisons. If you'd like, uh, down the road, I could do another video on this where I, I really just compare individual instruments. If that's something that interests you, just let me know in the comments and, and I'll chalk it up on the board, the made on tape idea board. It's in my head. No, actually it's on Google Drive, I'm not that dumb. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate you being here and just checking out the channel. If you're interested in what I do musically, go to Bandcamp, madeontape.bandcamp.com. Uh, if you're interested in supporting what I do here, I have a Patreon page and you can chip in a couple bucks a month and that's that would be amazing. Uh, very, very helpful. Too much talking. With that, as always, and I truly mean this every time I say it, peace and be good to each other. Cool. That was the easy bit.